Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft Time by Casey. I am Casey and today these are the items that we will be going through. These are finished items using both the treasure edition and the kit edition from the Potomac bead boxes. If you are interested in the Potomac bead boxes, I will have all of the information in the description box below. I highly recommend that you go check them out. These are just a couple of examples of some of the amazing beads that they have. Also some amazing patterns on their website. So if you would like to see how these patterns came about, then stay tuned. Right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start out with the tools that I will be using. I have one set of cutters and I have two size 10 beading needles. I will also be using Fireline 8 pound thread in smoke, which is this black color. Um, and I usually get the 125 yards uh, just because I go through it so quickly. And I want to briefly mention my tool set. It is the Casual Comfort Tool Set. And as the name suggests, they are very, very comfortable to use. Uh, they are very high quality, very well made. And for me, the biggest thing is how they feel. That goes with the comfort, but they have adult size grips for a lot of jewelry making tools. For whatever reason, they come in these really, really small sizes. And I know they work for some people, but for me, I just can't imagine now that I've found this set using a different set. So I will have this link down below along with everything else I use in the video that did not come from the bead boxes. So I already have a piece of thread threaded through both of my needles and I have one piece of thread, but either end of the thread is threaded through these needles right here. So what I have in mind is a bracelet. I will link below the opening video that I did for the Potomac bead boxes for March, 2023. And it will give you a detailed description of each one of these beads, but we are using these Pi Duos. You can see the two holes right there. 11 seed beads and these two millimeter faceted beads. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pick up one of the Pi Duos and I want to put both of my needles through each one of the holes and then I'm going to pull it down to the end okay so this one is at the end just like this all right so now I have the pi duo just like this with either end of the thread coming out and I want to put the one that's coming out of this side into the other side and pull that through you don't want to pull too hard because it'll pull thread from the other side and then I'm going to take the other needle of the one that's coming out of this side and put it through the other. So you should see the thread come across this way. And on the other side, you also see a thread that goes across, but they're both coming out of this side. So right now we're going to make this end of the bracelet and then build off of it. So we're going to put the end of the clasp here. I'm using a toggle clasp from my own stash. I like that design here uh, with the flower on it. This is a smaller toggle clasp. All right, so now both threads are coming out on this side, the rounded side. This is what I'm gonna pick up with my needle, two 11 O's, one of the faceted rounds and another 11 O. So I'm gonna put it through the end of the clasp, pull it all the way through. And when we get up here, you're gonna go right back through all of the beads in this line and go back out the front, just like that. So right now, this is what you have. So then with the opposite needle, you're going to pick up two 11 O's and then what you have here on the end, so you're gonna go through that faceted one and the 11 O at the end. Pull it all the way through, just like that. So we're gonna take this and go through that clasp, pull it through. And then for this one, you're gonna go back through the same path. You're gonna go through the two at the top and then the two new ones that you added and then back through the Pi Duo. 
just like that and then pull it through all right and here is your clasp secured on the end all right so here's what we have now and i'm going to be using the needle on this right side so here's what i've picked up i have an 11 0 around faceted an 11 0 and then one of the pi duos so I went through on the right side of the Pi Duo, but honestly, at this point, you can go through either side and it just spins around to the side you need it to be. So I'm gonna pull this all the way down, just like that. So on the other needle, I picked up an 11 a faceted one and an 11 and I'm gonna go through the other side of that same Pi Duo, just like this. And this here is actually the design all the way across. Fairly simple. So we'll do one more together. So I'm taking, I'm taking the needle on this right side. If these become loose while you're creating it, it's perfectly okay. Uh, you don't want the bottom part that's on the clasp to come loose. That should be pretty snug. But the rest of these, you can always just pull it down. So if they're loose, don't worry about it. So once again, I have an 11-0, faceted round, 11-0, and then the Pi Duo. But I'm going to pull this all the way down. And again, on the other side, I have an 11-0 of round faceted and an 11-0. And I'm going through the other side of the Pi Duo that's already on here. Pull it all the way down. So here is the very simple design. And this is a repeated design all the way across. I usually try to make my bracelet seven and a half inches. So we will continue this and we will meet up on the other end. All right. So here is the entire length of the bracelet as you can see it still has the clasp on and we haven't put on the opposite clasp but here's the length the length of the beads just the beads themselves is exactly six and a half inches and that's usually my go-to if you see right here where that last pie duo ends um that's usually my go-to for length is six and a half inches because the clasp on either end usually takes it to about seven and a half. Of course, the toggle clasp overlaps, um, so that'll help with the length. But right here is the length of this bracelet. So now we're going to put the clasp on the other end. So I'm gonna take one of the needles and I have two 11 O's, one round faceted and another 11 O. And I'm gonna put it through the other end of the clasp and pull it all the way through. And on this side, you do want to make sure you keep the bracelet pretty snug. So I'm going to go back through the entire line and back through the Pi Duo. And I'm going to have it just come out the other end of the Pi Duo for right now, just like that. All right, here we go. I flipped it over because I'm right handed. Um, so I have that thread coming back out of the Pi Duo. I'm going to make sure this side is pretty snug. And on this side, I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. I'm going to go through the round faceted one on the end and the 11 0 and I'll go ahead and go through that clasp and pull it all the way through just like that. I'm going to go back through that 11 0 there at the top, back through that round faceted and then back through the other two 11 0s back through the Pi Duo and then pull it through. All right, so now I'm going to take this one on the right and go up the opposite round duo and just have it stick out for right now. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Go up the opposite side of the Pi Duo and pull it through. So right now I'm just pulling the thread just to make sure it's nice and snug. All right, so I picked up one more 11 and I'm going to go back up this side here both 11 o's and the faceted round and the 11 o on the top and pull it all the way through just like that and i'm going to go back through the clasp and i'm going to go back down through the 11 o through the round faceted one and then back through the same three on this side including the one you just added and then back through the Pi Duo. All right, so for this side, this string is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and knot it off right here. I'm gonna put it through right under the Pi Duo, pull it to the loop is a little bit bigger, go through it just like this, and then pull it. And I'm gonna do it one more time, put it through the loop, 
pull it just like that. And now I'm going to snip off this side. All right, so that side is completed. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on this side, adding an additional bead. All right, so there it is. I have now added that extra bead on the other side, same way as the first one. And here is the final bracelet. I think this is pretty awesome. And there it is. So I think that's pretty cute. You can see the clasp there. Very nice. So once again, I made this from materials from the treasure edition. And now we will move on to the patterns in the kit edition. The first pattern that I will be going over is the frozen beauty necklace. And one thing I will say that is different on here, you see on the necklace, they have several of these tan or champagne colored drop beads. They're also in the picture right here. And I went to this website right here for the video version of the pattern and all of them have that drop bead in them. Well, I did not receive any of the drop beads. However, here is my version of it. And I will say the picture doesn't have these large crystals that I received in the center. And I think these large crystals are absolutely beautiful. And of course you can see how I arranged them here to, the, to line up as best as I could right down the middle. I just think these large crystals are beautiful. And of course, with all the ice crystals throughout the rest of this, I just think this pattern was super simple and super beautiful. And of course, you can see that hook and eye loop there as the clasp. Very nice. I think this one is beautiful and the pattern was very, very simple to follow. And this one is just super nice. And the other pattern that came in this month's kit edition was the over under pearl bracelet. And one thing that I will say is the picture here doesn't do it justice. So here is my version. I just think it is so beautiful. I love this pattern and it was also very simple to follow the instructions. I did not even go to the video version of this one because the instructions in here and of course the pictures that go with it were very simple to follow and I just love the way this comes out. I love that side, of course, how it gets its name, the over under, how these almost look like they're looped down the side. That's just so pretty. Another thing that I love about their patterns, here are the instructions for that loop at the end. And as you can see, I tweaked it just a little bit and I added a little pearl in the clasp there. And I think this looks really nice. I think this would have been just as beautiful, but one nice thing about their patterns and they encourage it in their videos as well, that you can take their patterns and kind of make them your own. And I just think this bracelet is super, super pretty. So once again, here are the finished pieces from the two kits that came in the kit edition for the month of March, 2023. And here, once again, is the bracelet that I made out of the treasure edition. And again, very simple pattern, but the beads just add to the design. They stand out for themselves. Very, very nice. If you are interested in the Potomac bead boxes, either one, either the treasure or the kit edition, or like me, if you're interested in both, I will have a link in the description box below. I highly encourage you to use that link and go check them out. They have so many amazing things on their website, as well as being able to sign up for these bead boxes. I just think it is absolutely worth it. So if you like this video and you want to see other videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give me a like, leave a comment. I absolutely love reading your comments. You guys are so, so kind. And I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one.
Bye.